What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Mike Mike Six, and I'm back with some more Call of Duty Black Ops 3 gameplay. Now, in this gameplay here, uh, I want to talk about the whole toughness perk because there's no toughness perk in this game. And watch how fast and quick I get so many kills with this specific gun. I don't have any attachments on this gun at all. No attachments. Uh, it's just a man of war. And I've seen this guy go underwater, but I don't have any attachments on this gun. Look how I lay this dude down. Now, this is how I think that the toughness perk works in this game. Because if you notice, whenever somebody starts shooting me with a gun that doesn't really do a lot of damage, it doesn't necessarily make my gun kick at all. Look, at, look how I'm winning these gun battles. It's, it's almost like this is toughness built into this gun. Now, I'll explain why I believe this. I think the toughness is integrated differently into the game. Now, it's not a whole thing of toughness for you putting it on yourself. I think you put toughness or you take away toughness from the other person depending on how much damage your gun does. Now, if you think about it, if you pick a gun that doesn't really do a lot of damage but has a really high fire rate, when you're shooting somebody, their guns don't kick. So they, they continuously shoot you too. So you're getting shot and they're getting shot. But with this specific gun here, when you start shooting somebody, it's like they can't hit you back because the damage just makes their their view like kick so high that they can't even hit you back and I, that's how i think i've been winning a lot of gun battles so i think that's how toughness is integrated into this game let me know in the comment section what you guys think if you guys think that's what is going on in this game or if they've already confirmed this or not i'm not sure if that's how it works but i, th I think that's how it is and so far i don't have any attachments on this gun um but I've been using the Seraphine Specialist ability and I just unlocked it. This was actually my very first gameplay using it. And just look how beast the Seraphine ability is though. Whenever you see me actually call it in, look, look at that. I've already got my talent and I only used it for a few seconds. I got like two or three kills with it while I had the uh, ability activated. And three kills with the Seraphine ability activated is like equivalent to 600 score rather than 300 score. So that makes a huge difference. So I actually love the Seraphine uh, combat focus ability a lot. That's probably my favorite specialist ability so far. And also what I wanted to talk about is this game is actually more fun than I thought it was. I, I didn't, to be honest, I wasn't expecting this game to be so much fun, but it's actually way more fun than I thought it was going to be. Uh, I've been trying out so much different uh, stuff in this game like I've tried out so many different specialist abilities so far I haven't been able to try out as much as I want because they you're kind of limited by the whole token thing you're kind of limited to what you can and cannot unlock but most definitely I can say I do love this man of war gun this gun is amazing oh my god this gun is amazing I want to unlock the Vesper and then try that out because I've been getting like destroyed by the Vesper until I picked up this gun this gun here I haven't really seen anybody really outgun me with this with this gun here, the Man O' War, and I think it's simply because of that that whole toughness thing that I was talking about earlier. I think that that's why I'm not really getting beasted now. When I was using the ARK, like there were some guns that I feel like, man, I can't compete with this guy. I can't compete with this guy's gun or anything. But as soon as I threw this specific gun on, it's like even playing against the same people. Like, I was just destroying them. People that were destroying me when I was using the ARK were just getting completely annihilated by this gun 100%. And look at this. Look at that. See, that's exactly what I mean. Now, I didn't see the second guy, but the first guy, he started shooting me first, and I actually dropped him. And it's because once I started shooting him, it, it was almost like he couldn't hit me anymore, which is it's pretty weird. So, look at this. Go ahead and pick up the kill on this guy right here. Step to the side. Come out drop this guy right here. And this gun is just amazing. I don't even have any attachments on it. Let me remind you, I don't have any attachments, and I'm just laying people down. If you guys want to try it out and just kind of test and see if what I'm saying is true, just try out the Man of War. I think the guns that have the higher damage is the guns that makes you kick the most. That's why, like, if you get shot by a sniper and you live, just watch how much difference you, you see in your screen, like your screen to jump all over the place whenever you get shot by a sniper just because the damage is so high. And like when I'm getting shot by somebody with a shotgun, it's hard to readjust. That's why sometimes whenever you play with the shotgun and you shoot somebody once, it's almost like you get a free shot, like a free second shot if you hit them with the first shot because their gun just kicks all over the place. 
So maybe maybe that's what's going on with this game. I don't know. And I don't know how this guy right here just didn't see me and just completely ran past me. Look at this. Laying these dudes down. But the game go the game ends before I can finish off that next guy. And I really I'm really digging this whole seraphin thing. The the specialist ability for it. The two specialist ability for it. Oh my god, they're amazing. And I want to thank guys for watching, checking out my videos. And don't forget to subscribe, like, whatever, you know. Look at that. Top score in the, in the group using this little setup. I want to thank guys for watching, checking out my videos. Peace.